Welcome back to Surviving in Alabama, guys, today. Um, it's time to take the onions in. So let me turn around Two and show Two weeks you. ago, I picked these onions. It's not like a super lot of onions, but hey, it's gonna last a little while. Uh, I'm probably gonna replant onions again, and I'm a little bit late on doing that. And in fact, I'm a little bit late on doing a lot of stuff. I've just had so much stuff going on. But so I've had these onions sitting in this rack for two weeks and you see how the skin, I should have washed them off before I put them in here, but all I did was knock them off. It's totally fine either way, but uh, I'll have to wash them before I use them. <laughs> but, but anyway, see, see how that, the, the skin is turned brown like that. You know, when you go to the store and you see onions and they, and they have that brown looking skin on the outside what that does that's curing the onions and it makes them last because if you don't do that you don't let them sit and and dry on the outside skin they're gonna rot on you so that's why i had them laid out like this i'm trying to trying to cure them so i'm about to take these onions and cut the tops off of them and uh i'm gonna feed them to the pigs i mean i don't even know if, in the past i've fed onions to pigs before and they didn't really eat them but I, I've never fed the, the onion, the, you know, the shallot part or whatever, the green part. I, I don't know if they'll eat them or not. They may not eat them, and they just may leave them, and that's okay, too. My pigs are kind of spoiled. They like scraps and sweet stuff, so they may not eat them, but I'm just going to find out. So I'm going to cut all the tops off of these, and you see these? Let me show you. These laundry baskets, that's what I'm gonna be putting the onions in. I use these laundry baskets for picking and harvesting and all like that. Uh, you can actually get these laundry baskets at Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter. Um, but I think I paid a dollar for these because I've, I've had them for a while. I'm pretty sure I paid just a dollar for them. That was bef before Dollar Tree turned into Dollar 25 Tree or Biden Inflation Tree. So, okay. So when I went and I bought these laundry baskets, I think I bought like 12 of them. I, I, whatever, however many they had on their shelf is how many I bought. I think it was 12. And I was like, you know what, I use them all. I use all kinds of stuff like that and I try to live on the cheap. So, so I'm gonna be taking these onions, cutting the tops off and trying to get air around them in these baskets. And I'll put them in a cool dry spot down in my basement and Maybe we'll get a few months out of them. I don't really know how long they'll last that way because generally when I pick onions, they don't last as long as they probably would because we ate them or I froze them or I cooked with them or whatever. All right, I'm going to come back. I'm going to cut these off, come back to you, and we'll see if the pigs even eat them. Before I dump that uh, basket of onions off to the pigs, well, I'm gonna move them. I'll take y'all along too. See, what I do is, see, that's where they bend, and I, that's where I just, I got that six by six up against this pen. I use it for like a bumper, and I just take my little tractor, and, I, and this has got wheels on it, but it's so heavy for me to push, I can't push it. So I just use my tractor just to ease it along, and I put them on fresh grass, so when they, when they eat up all this, then I'll move them again. That's their little house right there is a tote bin. And they get up in the house, get out the weather. And that's some leftover feed that got rained on. But, uh, and this is their water. So, see that nipple right there? They push on that nipple, see them, see them right there? See, it's drinking water right now. That's how they, that's how they do it. But, uh, 
for the most part, they're happy pigs. They're kind of spoiled, to be honest with you. But that pen right there is eight by 16. And I just have two pigs in there. And like I said, they are inside this pen. This is a heavy, heavy built pen. And I don't believe even when they get grown, they're gonna be able to get out, push out or anything. It's really, really strong. So the reason I'm doing it like this is because I wanna be able to move them through the woods and between trees. So I, did, I couldn't have like a giant pen. I, I guess I could have put an electric fence, but I don't have a fence charger anymore. I used to have one. I used to raise pigs. I think I had them for like five years maybe. Uh, and I was actually breeding them and selling them and doing all that and we were eating them too. And I used to sell to some restaurants. So I just changed up what I'm doing. These are really kind of more like off grid. So you, you don't have to have, a, the way I'm doing it right now, you don't have to have electricity to keep these pigs. And that was a little bit of the goal. It wasn't the main goal. I mean, I'm totally not against electric at all. It's just, it's just more to keep up with for me. And this one pen, I only have two pigs and it seems to be working just great because this is more like a pig tractor. Uh, there are a few other people on the internet that's built pig tractors. I built my first pig tractor like seven or eight, nine, maybe even 10 years ago. I don't even know. But uh, I took like a four or five year break from pigs until this year. But like I said, it seems to be working and it is absolutely possible that you can raise pigs without electricity. Electricity is probably the preferred method, but this is working really well for me. If there's any doubt that, that my soil is real rocky, look at all them rocks that got tilled up when they were pushing around. There's just so many rocks here. Look at all those rocks right there. Okay, well let's, uh, let's go see if they'll eat these onion tops. Like I said before, I just, I don't know. Cause I, I know when I, I don't think they like them, but if they don't, it'll just compost down the soil. I don't really care either way. You can see I got all these onions. I got these onions right here. And then I got these onions right here. So I got roughly three baskets. They're not full baskets by any means, but I, I don't want them full cause I don't want a lot of, I don't want a lot of uh, weight. I don't want a lot of weight put on them. Uh, I'm probably gonna spread them out a little thinner than that because I definitely want air. I want air, I don't want them smothered because if, they, if they're smothered, they're gonna rot. So I want them to last a long time. So here's all the tops. I smashed them down in here. Let's just go see if, uh, let's go see if um, they'll eat them, who knows. Well, let's find out. Well, they're looking at it. I'm not confident they're going to eat them, but maybe. Mm, maybe not. I don't know. 
Well, they're not eating it, so I guess that answers that. They did sniff around on it for a minute, but I never saw them take a bite. So let me tell you what. Now, I do feed them feed and this, that, and the other, but they love scraps. They just absolutely just love it. They will fight each other over a donut. <laughs> so I feed them all kinds of scraps. I try to keep their protein up. I'm very mindful of that. So, but scraps, they just, it doesn't matter what it is. Apparently not onions. But if you cook onions and put it in something, they'll eat it. So I guess they're just rotten. <laughs> I don't know any other way to say it. Well, since we answered that question, I guess uh, I'm going to mosey on back. I got some uh, trellises to put up for uh, tomatoes. And I got some beans to plant. Got all kinds of things to do. And we will sign off on this video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate y'all coming along. I'll see y'all next time. God bless.